I know that it's your wedding day. I wanted you to personally know that I love you. Yeah, I love you. I love you so much, and we all love you. I knew Pia and Anthony were ready for marriage when I saw the way that they balance each other out. It wasn't just the simple things anymore. It was the questions were getting complex. Like, um, so what do you do when you know this, and then that, and then this, but this? And I was mm -hmm. like, man, like you really thinking? You really like mm -hmm. doing some like comprehension on the situation? You really giving it a lot? And um, I got to see the effort to make the relationship work, and that's when I knew. I mean, this was it. This was it. But Anthony was very, very patient and Anthony was very understanding and he kind of balanced out her turn Um, Anthony, okay, so Anthony is just absolutely freaking phenomenal. And the way that he was able to like, go with me as I grew like his care for me didn't change like I'm, I'm like a bull like I'm very headstrong Amen. I have a bad attitude Amen. Um, but he kind of loved me through it and kind of like told me this is not gonna work for me this is how we need to communicate <laughs> of course we both had some growing to do I met him when I was 19 years old um, and we've pretty much gone through our 20s together. So for him um, to just love me through it and, and, and for him to allow me to figure out how to love him back was kind of amazing to me. And I just knew that his love for me was gonna grow and it wasn't going to end and he wasn't giving up. And we established the no exit door before we even came into this position of marriage. So um, I love him and he loves me back. So that's why I know he's the one. Hi, right, Father. I'm proud to be your junior. I will carry your name until it's my time. Right before you left, you planted a seed, a second chance. A lot of fatherless kids would have been confused and misguided. Instead, it motivates me to do right so that one day we can meet. I'm about to get married and I plan on gathering as much family as I can. Last time everybody was together was at your funeral. This time they'll be celebrating us. My whole life is based off being like you. Picking up where you left off and doing right. You was young when you left. Even I'm older than you now. Which is why I believe God called you. I met this girl. But she wasn't the one. I got into big trouble. That was the lowest point for me and I had to deal with it alone. I had to be more like you. I had to walk with the confidence you had. Then I met another girl. This time it felt like she was the one. She's God fearing. I brought her here to meet you last year. And I'm about to go meet her at the altar. You nervous? Nah. Oh, you won't. When they grew into learning to mesh, is what really let me know, like, yeah, this is about to work. This is it. This is the thing. Just do it. What are you waiting for? Like, that, I've been saying that for a long time. Like, what are you waiting for? Y'all ready? That's so they're ready. Today is good. I thought I was going to be nervous, but I'm not. Yeah, that's good. And then you're going to be scared walking down the aisle. Nah. You're not going to be nervous. Everybody's going to be staring at you. I'm good. I know everybody. <laughs> Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for this time that you've allowed us to have. We thank you for giving us each other. As we enter into this day, God, we ask that you allow us to keep you first, keep our minds set on the place that you have us to go. 
God, I thank you for his life and all that has become to me. Father God, I thank you for our families that are arriving. I ask that you keep them in perfect peace and keep them all together, Father God, that they might come here with good spirit and good attitude, God. I thank you again for our loved ones that we were able to have here on earth. God, I ask that you will allow them to be with us in heaven. God, I thank you for this union, and I know that you've ordained us to be together. I ask that you give us longevity, that you allow us to stand tight, um, stand together firmly uh, with your word and all those angels that you've been kept around us, both in the physical and here, oh God, in the spiritual. God, I ask that you will embrace us today, allow us to have a joyous celebration, and let this mind be in us that is also in Christ Jesus, that everything that we do today roll out in the purpose that you already have laid up for us. God, I thank you and I praise you for the love that we share. And I said each love that we have today grow stronger and stronger with the days to come. Thank you for seven years, a completed journey today with our wedding. And I ask that we start off moving forward tomorrow and each day after in new beginnings. These and all things, God, we ask in your son Jesus name. Amen. Beloved, we're gathered here this evening to witness in celebration two people who are in love with each other, making the commitment of love. For love has two aspects. It has the aspect of the feeling of love and the commitment of love. If you ask anyone the definition of love, everyone has their own definition. Even the Apostle Paul gave a bunch of them. They say love is kind. Love is gentle and saying love is, she doesn't boast. She doesn't remember wrongdoing. Love has a lot of definitions. But if there was only one definition for love, it would be commitment. Because when you commit to love, you commit even though sometimes you might not feel like you're in love. And that's what we're here to do today. So these two have been in love for a long time, but they've decided to commit to love. And so we celebrate that today, and we're gathered here today to bring these two together. I want to ask you now to face me because I'm going to give you some charges, and I'm going to ask you to make this commitment before God, and then you'll make the commitment to each other. And if any of you have any reason why they shouldn't be married, say it at your wedding. <laughs> the one you paid for. It's gonna be a marriage today with this dress. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with you, Anthony, because you will be the spiritual covering. You will be who God looks at as the head. All the blessings, all the curses, anything that comes the way of your marriage, the spirit world tries to send it through you. So I'm gonna to speak to you now, and then I'm going to speak to your soon-to-be wife. Um, and if you agree at the end, you will just say, I do. Okay. Do you, Anthony, take Pia to be your lawful wedded wife, to love her and to cherish her, to be with her through sickness and in health, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, to death do you part. I do. <laughs> See how loud he said it. Huh? <laughs> now do you, Pia, take Anthony to be your lawful wedded husband, to love him and to cherish him, to be with him in sickness and health, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> after a heated argument, after you have had thoughts about maybe this is not going to work, you are to reflect on the vows that says that there is no exit door, that you're to stay and that you're to work this thing out. And so you'll repeat after me by saying, I, Anthony, I, Anthony, take you, Pia, take you, Pia, to be my wife, to be my wife, I promise to love you, I 
promise to love you. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. I promise to be with you. I promise to be with you. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. I, Pia. I, Pia. Take you, Anthony. Take you, Anthony. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love. To love. To cherish. To cherish. And to be with you. And to be with you. Through sickness. Through sickness. And in health. And in health. For better. For better. Or for worse. Or for worse. For rich. For rich. Or for poor. Or for poor. As long. As long. As we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. God bless you. Amen. The rings, please. You'll take her hand and place the ring on her finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You'll take this ring. Put it on his finger and you repeat these words. With this ring. With this ring. I do marry you. I do marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, by the power invested in me, in the state of California, and by God Almighty, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may greet the bride. Do you get that? Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand as I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Jones. Well, you know, uh, kicking your feet. Are you gonna walk in the dirt? I believe he found her in the garden of Eden. You can hear her heartbeat when it starts speaking. When one loves and one what others can't see, like a fisherman loves the depth of the blue sea, we may not see what he sees when he braves the rough seas, but when he pulls his great catch, that's like a king finding his W-I-F-E On one knee his tears fled Fears bled and insecurities got put to bed What God puts together no man can break apart King, please write your love song to the rhythm of her beating heart Queen, please sing to the strings he had to pull for him to be a part Of this lovely day Beauty lies in the eye of the beholder, but tells the truth in the soul. Because the looks will soon fade, and one can only pray that one's love for the other will grow. Prophetically illustrating affirmations, allowing noble ties, heaven's officers navigate you. Now, that's what you get when you put Pia and Anthony together. First letters. May this day be a memory on their hearts forever. Father God bless them beyond this day Continue to guide their steps Infuse their breath with words of love In an encouraging tone Watch over the home And never allow him to step off of his throne To Queen Pia and King Anthony I now pronounce thee Wait a minute That's the minister's job Thank you for coming um, to celebrate Pia and Anthony A.K.A. Mr. and Mrs. Jones A. Turner Anthony, I think you were so dope. I think you were so dope for so many different reasons. One, because my cousin is amazing. She'll go crazy. 
But you calm that. He said, "Yeah." So you that's you starting off wrong. So I knew my auntie for a very long time since day one. Um, cousin, I'm just, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of who you've become. Seeing you grow into who you are, into this wife. Brittany told you you've always been a wife. I knew you before you were a wife. <laughs> just remember that. Now let me tell you about Mr. Jones. This guy loves the jump man. All of his shoes, even his sandals. <laughs> so I'm glad all of you guys came here to celebrate Mrs. and Mr. Jones. <laughs> Everybody could take a sip. We're thankful for everybody that came. You guys are important to us. Even though the ones that's, that's not here with us still, the ones that want to be with the Lord, we still hope they're looking down at us, supporting us, but we try to do as best as we can. Did you enjoy the night? Yeah, it was a beautiful night, fun night. It was lit, I'm so excited, I, I just, I'm so happy to be your wife. It's about time. Oh, it's about time. I believe so, too. Well, I love you, babe. Love has a lot of definitions. But if there was only one definition for love, it would be commitment. 